Hello, humans. It seems like every time I come to the beach house, it gets real dark, Lori. <laughs> this is the spoopiest way to start a tea. But before we go any further, look at this adorable UGC. Okay, you guys, this was by Johnny Soleil, and it is I Am Santa's new UGC. And guys, Santa has three adorable UGCs now, so definitely go show some support. But today I have some very sad news, people. That's right. Some more stuff has been removed from the game. Everyone, everyone go cry now. Sad tea. Recently these hair colors and a few hairstyles have been removed from the game due to stolen models from the cool box. Okay, so we have one picture here and it shows the brown to blonde ombre, black to fuchsia ombre, black to green ombre, black to purple and black to hot pink. And we also see some hairstyles, definitely ones that I have worn before. Let's go check it out. So really quickly, I wanted to check out the update book first and see if it said anything about it. And it does show some updates from June 17th but nothing since then and nothing about stuff being removed. So I'm gonna check the green hair, which you guys already know. I think that we need way more green colors. And yeah, I don't see the black to green ombre yet. We do have tech powers and we do have some others that have green black, but not black to green ombre. And that was one of the first multicolors that had come to the hairstyle, so it is sad. I know a lot of people wore the brown to blonde ombre, but it did only work with certain hairstyles. And we do still have the modest blonde ombre for those wondering. Now looking at hairstyle, I'm gonna check the buns because we did get some new buns created by Salty Shio, the Asteroid Cutie Buns. Some of those buns were some of the first ones added to the game. And you can see here, they are no longer with us. That is so sad. And I know it's totally devastating when stuff that you love or stuff that you've been wearing forever leaves the game, but honestly guys, look at the level of detail in these new hairs. We are getting upgrades in this game and that's just part of the growing pains of a game that has now been out for multiple years. So guys, stuff is going to change. You're going to see some more reworks in the future. So definitely just keep sending ideas of reworks or concept ideas that you might want to see come to the game this year. Now, I was obviously checking out the RHT spill hashtag, which has now been spammed with traitors. So we're gonna, gonna come up with a new hashtag. We're going to do hashtag Cyber T. And if that gets spammed with traders, then I just, I give up. You see that fire right there? That's where I'm gonna throw all the people who trade spam. <laughs> and guys, if you're gonna use that hashtag, don't spam a bunch of people because they don't need to be spammed in cyber hashtags. So let's check out the original source of some sword tea from Johnny. So as you can see here, Mr. Johnny Soleil, who obviously has been hard at work on the pirate set we've been talking about, has also shared with us a concept of a beautiful, and I mean super ornate, super detailed, super realistic sword. So the only sword I have currently is the Royal Sword of Strength. And you can see here, yes, it is a beautiful sword, but it's definitely not as detailed as the one Johnny just posted. And taking a look at real historical pirate swords, a lot of them did have pretty ornate handles. Think about the spoils of the pirate booty. So I, for one, would be very excited about this sword coming to the pirate set, but that is not the only tea Johnny spilled about this pirate set. So you can see here, he's talking about some boots. Can you guys look at these boots? They are beautiful. I can literally use that as a pun now. It's a lot of detail. You can even see a buckle hanging over, some beautiful lace that kind of ties it together with the set. Oh my gosh, look at the lacing, some gold lacing and fold over leather. So I think these would do really well if you were caught in a storm or at sea. And here is the set in its entirety as we've seen so far. But now I feel like, you know what? We need to cheer for our royal boys. There are so many talented royal boys in this community and they do not have enough representation in terms of items. So I kind of wanted to take a look at a couple of boy version of already existing sets that are in the game. And I just found this so inspiring. I want to show you guys again, this is not tea, but I'm curious if you guys would want to see boy versions of this come to the game. Look at this. 
And again, guys, this could be for any gender. Obviously, any gender can wear any clothes that you like in the game, but I just thought this was a cool idea. And this is, of course, by Matthew Lovato. So this is the Shadow Emperor set, as opposed to the Shadow Empress set. And oh my gosh, look at the detail of the back of the cloak and even the crown. Oh my gosh, and seeing it close up, you can tell they put so much work into this. Like, even look at the details of the chain. I just found this so inspiring and so exciting. And look at that, the core a tree. So this was the inspiration for the set, as you can see here. And they also made another set that is called a Shadow Knight set. And I thought this was amazing. So I definitely want to see some more sets for the Royal Boys Get In Game. We're seeing Johnny Soleil might carve the way for that. I'm really hoping the pirate set gets accepted. And I know a ton of people would definitely love to have a Shadow Emperor set. Am I right? Anyways, I hope you guys found that inspiring. I got very excited by it. And about this next news. So if you guys remember in our last tea spill, we were talking about this note in Barbie stream here and it was saying animate butterflies. But wait, what if they were referring to the butterflies on the heels? Okay, I'm sure that was probably obvious to some of you, but I didn't think about that. What if you could have moving butterfly heels? And I have been seeing some comments about the sky high butterfly heels, but these are technically sandals and the other ones are definitely more stilettos. So I do think it would be important to have both in the game. I don't ever want to see these Sky High Ballet Butterfly Heels get reworked because I think they are perfect. And now we're off to the conspiracy corner. That's right, people. Remember, everything we say here is not tea. It's just a conspiracy. So don't go tweeting. I said it's tea because it's not. It's just for funsies. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen my three summer set idea videos, but a lot of people really seem to want a swimsuit set. Looks like Ocean Orbs is working on one. So I know in UGC, we can't currently do anything else like the skirts and dresses. So I'm pretty sure that if she were to make a set, I think it would have to be for Royal High or maybe just for fun or for practice. But she did ask for some ideas of swimsuits that would be meshable. So I'm curious to see what people come up with. I really loved this set idea. So guys, make sure you're checking those videos out because there were some really good ideas. I'm sure you guys have probably seen my journal DIY by now because I keep spamming it. But it seems a lot of people from the community have been making their journals and I just wanted to show this because you guys, I'm so fascinated by everyone's different journals. And I think that they all came out so cute. Like look at this one by Adriana. It just is gorgeous and you made the UFO stickers and so many cute stickers and I love that. And I also love the binding you did. And then here you can see Royal Blue also did it in their color scheme. And I, I love this, the dark colors, the space theme. It just turned out so beautiful. So I can't wait to see more of your DIYs. Definitely tag me if you guys try and make this out. And I feel like I should just show this journal accessory concept. This is by Johnny and honestly, I want a journal accessory so bad. I totally agree with Johnny that it would be awesome to be able to hold the journal in your hand like a book when you're actually using it. Like with the cell phone, you have the phone pop up. But I don't know, what do you guys think? So there's definitely a lot of really creative ideas from this wonderful community floating around out there. And summer is not over. We know exactly what is up next in terms of updates. We are going to have 4th of July and then the new university. You guys saw some more sneak peeks at the pirate set that Johnny Soleil is working on and hopefully we'll get approved. We know that his first version was approved and he worked on a new version, so hopefully this one will get approved. We are still waiting for this mystical Suki set. We have so many great ideas coming from the community and I'm just excited to see what actually ends up in the game. But definitely leave a like if you are enjoying these tea spills. Leave a comment of what you think about the conspiracies we discussed today. I'll see you in the next video, humans. Thank you for using my star code. Hasta luego.
it can't get no hotter. Fish taco, shrimp tacos, a carne asada. When I see a taco truck, you know I gotta follow. Hey, give me all of that. Tacos, where you at? I love tacos, it's a fact. Got it tatted on my back. <laughs> you know it's my favorite. It tastes so good.